Pacific Ocean is something like a wave pool at a water park. Usually trade winds blow across towards the west, causing warm water to pile up near Australia and Indonesia, with cold waters upwelling off the coast of Chile. The warm water near the west causes very rainy conditions. However, during El Nino, the trade winds relax and the warmer waters shift eastward. The rains follow, causing floods in South America and drought in Australia, as well as other effects. Since El Nino brings warmer and drier weather than usual. This means less precipitation and a higher chance of drought. El Nino is an important event when you look at nowadays, but you only get the full picture once you take into account historical records. Paleoclimatology is the study of climate before we had instruments to measure it, modern instruments to measure it. So what paleoclimate aims to do is reconstruct what the natural climate variability was before there were instruments actually measuring the weather and the climate. El Nino affects all the people in the world, but it also affects people locally in Puget Sound in areas like the Hood Canal. El Nino causes changes in the ocean on the Washington coast. That's the main factor. And so the water coming into Puget Sound along the bottom is different. Usually it's less salty because there's less upwelling on the coast. So that means it's harder for that water to get in along the bottom. And uh, it also then means that there's less flushing of the deep water out of Hood Canal. And of course you want flushing because that gets rid of the old low oxygen water and brings in new water with more oxygen and keeps you from having your oxygen fish kills and stuff like that. El Nino and paleoclimatology have a great effect on our water supply. So to investigate further, we visited the Cedar River watershed where Seattle gets most of its water. Here in the Cedar, uh, they might have less total snowfall or rainfall and the snow level would be higher. And of course, they want the snow level to be low because that helps their winter storage. The study of paleoclimatology shows us that we should learn from the past to avoid disaster in the future, such as the harmful side effects of El Nino.